Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 12 of the same topic. So here we are going to see the chapter innings. The first question that we have to simplify the following. So this is the question given. So here what we can see outside the bracket there is a plus sign. So just here we can just remove the brackets. Rest everything is going to be the same. because this is a plus sign if there is minus means you have to take this sign as well as this one you have to check for this one so here because this is plus this everything is going to be the same there will be no changes over here so now we will see if there are any like terms so here now what we can see here minus 3 pq square and this is plus 3 Q square P means if you rearrange this, it is going to be PQ square. So this and this gets cut off. So rest everything you will write here the same. Here now you can see 2 PQ plus and minus 5 PQ that will bring it together. And then this will be here. So now this the same plus 2 minus 5 that is going to be minus 5 plus 2 that will be minus 3 pq and this is the same so this is the answer so now here this this and this is going to be the same now this is minus so minus 15 y minus and minus becomes plus so 32 x minus and plus becomes minus so this is 3 y x now let us see whether we can see anything common 16 x y and we can see here this is minus 3 y, y x y x means if we rearrange this is this is going to be x y so we'll bring this together then plus 3 x plus 32 x together minus 5 y minus 15 y together so now we can 16 minus 3 that is going to be 13 and this is x y and y x means that is going to be the same so we'll write x y plus 3 plus 32 that is going to be this x and x that will be 35 x minus 5 minus 15 that is going to be minus 20 and this is y so this is the answer now here because now this is a plus sign just we have to remove the brackets rest everything will be the same now let us see whether we can see any like terms this 65 x square y Along with this, we can see here 16 y x square means that is nothing but x square y. So we'll bring it together over here. Minus 40 x square plus 12 x square, bring it together. Minus 3 y square and minus 13 here together. So now because this is x square y and y x square means both is the same. So you're going to add this one that will be 81 x square y. After doing here this one minus 40 plus 12 that is going to be mi minus 40 plus 12 that is going to be minus 28 and this is x square minus 3 minus 13 that is going to be minus 16 y square. Now here the dimensions of a cuboidal tank are 1 by 6 ab cube 12 a square b square and 4 ab. So you know this is a cuboidal this is the tank and the dimensions are given here so now let us think of a, find the volume we have to find the volume of the cuboidal tank and find its volume if a is 5 meter and b is 2 meter so now let, let us consider this length length of tank this is the breadth of tank and this is the height of tank so we have the formula. This formula is important. Volume of cuboidal tank is length into breadth into height. So just plug in this one. This will be here in place of L. This will be here in place of B. And here this will be in place of H. So now we can see here 6 ones are 6 twos are. So now the remains here is 8. So this is 8. Now let us see for A's. This means here there will be one here also there will be one so that is total is going to be four so a is to four now let us see for b 
so here will be one so that is total is going to be three two and one that is going to be six so now here we got the, this as volume so we can also write this volume means that is going to be the unit is going to be here will be because it is volume so it is going to be cubic so whenever we have cubic units if it is just a square that will be square units so because we write here if it is in centimeter usually we write here centimeter cube or we can write here cubic centimeter so here we don't have the units given here so it is just here so we can write a volume as cubic units so now it is given here that a is 5 meter and b is 2 meter so now here we will write here for a is equal to 5 meter and b is equal to 2 meter so here we will write here as it is in place of a 5 is to 4 and this is b 2 is to 6 so this will be 625 this is going to be 64 so when you multiply this all we get 320 000 and since it is given here as meter so you can also write as meter cube or you can write here cubic meter both is the same so this is the answer so now here from the product this is the product given subtract the product this one so whenever the word from is used means whatever that should be at the start so now let us take the product first product of this part so now we can cancel here this will be 30 37 is a 210 so this will be m1 and this 2 that will be m cube and again here n1 and this n cube that is going to be n this to 4 and if we take this product so this is going to be 125 m square n square into 1 5 m n square so this will be 25 so 25 here m square and this will be 1 that will be m cube n square and n square that is going to be n this to 4 so now now look at here from whatever whenever this from is used after that whatever is that that should be at the start so this is the answer for the from when we take the product of that so it should be at the start and then you are going to subtract the product of this one so you get this one so minus 53 m3 n4 so now you can see both the places m3 and 4 so now you are going to subtract this and this that will be 185 and that is m3 n4 so this is the answer now here they have to simplify and evaluate this is the expression given for a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 1 so now let us solve this first so what you can see here the denominators are different so we will take the lcm of that one so when you take the lcm of 5 25 and 15 you can take the lcm and see so the, uh, the lcm is going to be 75 so now here 5 into 15 and I'll also show you here how to take the LCM 5 25 and 15 so now this goes with 3 3 fives are here 25 and here 5 5 ones are 5 fives are and 5 ones are again here will be 5 ones are so here now you can see here 5 fives are 25 and 25 threes are 75 so the lcm is a so here you are going here we have 5 so 15 5 is 75 so this is extra so here also we have to write multiply by 15 here we already have 25 so 25 threes are so this is extra so now here also should be multiplied by 3 now here's 15 so 15 fives are so 5 multiply by 5 so this also should be multiplied by 5 so now these things are going to be the same so now here this is the same so what remains here here is 15 ab minus 3a square and this will be plus 10 b square and divided by this is all 75 so you can write it only once so now here 25 threes are 75 and 25 fives are 
125. So now you can see here is 5. So 15 fives are 75. You will multiply this into this, this into this, and this into this one. So now first, now let us take this into this. So that is going to be 50, 75. And this A and this one will be A cube. And this is going to be B cube. So 75 A cube, B cube. Now let us take this and this one. So 5, 3 is 15. Now here what you can see here, this A square and A square becomes A raised to 4, B raised to 2. Now this is plus, so you will write your plus. This will be 50, A raised to 2 and B raised to 4. So this is, and what remains in the denominator is 3. So now we have to take, we have to consider A is 1 and B is equal to minus 1. So for A is equal to 1 and B is equal to minus 1. So wherever you see A, you are going to put 1. And in place of B, you are going to put minus 1. So now look at here. This is here. For this part here. So divided by this 3. So now what you can see here. See, what, this is positive 1. So this one, this is going to be 1. But here you can see minus 1 this to 3. So this is an odd number. So whenever you have odd number and you have this minus sign, means it is always going to be minus so minus 1 raised to 3 so that is going to be minus minus 1 so here what we are going to do minus 1 into 75 that is going to be minus 75 but here you can see these all are positive so you don't have to consider this is going to be positive 1 and this is going to be 1 but here we have minus 15 so we are going to write here minus 15 here you can see the exponent is this is uh, sorry this is the uh, even number so this is the even number means this is going to be positive and this is plus 50. So this is going to be plus 50 and divided by 3. So now what you can hear minus 75 minus 15 means minus 90 plus 50 divided by 3. So minus 90 plus 50 that is going to be minus 40 by 3. Now find the following products. So here what you are going to do, you are going to multiply this into this, this all into this one. So whenever there is a number, whatever is there before the bracket, so that is common for both the terms. So you have to multiply with both of them. So minus and minus becomes plus. 7 nines are 63 and this is PQ. Now here minus and minus becomes plus. So this is plus. 9 threes are 27 and this is PQ square. So this is the answer. Now look at this one. We'll keep this bracket as it is here first. We'll solve this bracket. So this into this, this into this. So this is going to be 1 by 4 p square plus 1 by 4 pq. Now what will you do? We have two terms over here and two terms over here. And this is the other bracket. So first thing you will take the first term. And then you can do like this. This into this. So this into this. This into this. And this into this one. So, or there is the other way, you will take this one term, 12p square, and this whole together, that will be 1 by 4 p square plus 1 by 4 pq. Then again, what will you do? You will take this one, minus 4 q square, and here 1 by 4, again this term will be repeated, this whole packet will be repeated, p square plus 1 by 4 pq. So, and then you are going to expand it. So both ways you are going to get the same answer or you can do this one this is what i have done so here this into this then this into this then here this into this and this into this one so anyways you can do so i have done by this way so when you are multiplying this into this so you get here 12 pk uh, p square into 1 by 4 p square then if you are taking this into this, that will be 12 pq into 1 by 4 pq, that is here. Then you will go for this and this, that is going to be minus 4 q cube into 1 by 4 p square, this is here. Then you will go for this and this. So minus and plus becomes minus 4 q cube into 1 by 4 p cube. So now let us see this all, these are the four different terms. So from this one, four ones are four threes are. So here remains is three P four. Now here four ones are four threes are. So remains is three P cube Q. 
then here 4 and 4 gets cancelled minus here so p square cube cube and here 4 and 4 gets cancelled here so p q is to 4 so this is the answer now here px plus ky plus rz into x plus y plus z this is what i have told that we can take there are two brackets so we can take this number and this we can multiply this together then we can take this one again this bracket together then we'll take this one and this bracket together so now what will you do you are going to expand this one so this into this again this into this into this so again this into this into this so after expanding you get this expression so now nothing is common but just have what i have done this is x square this is y square and this is this i have written at the start rest all this is written here because there is no there are no like terms so this is the answer or you can also keep this both is base is the same now here this is all multiplication you can see outside the bracket so now what you can do here same thing is written over here so now we can try to simplify it because this is multiplication so three ones are three zero point five that will be one point five five ones are five zero point twenty three that is will be one point fifteen so now we cannot see the denominators are the gone so now you have to multiply this into this one so when you multiply this all so you get 1.38 now we will see for a so what you can see here this is one and this is one so that is going to be when you add all the a's that is the exponent of that two three six and this is seven now you will see for b so what you can see here two three six and this is seven b seven now you will see for c so here is one and here is one so that is going to be six so this thing now either you can keep this way or this 1.38 you can also write here 138 by 100 because you know 1.38 means how many you have you have two numbers and then there is a decimal so what you can do you can write here 138 and you can put here two number of zeros so 138 by 100 is the same as 1.38 so you can also write this way and this is the same so this is the answer so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you